Hello and welcome back to City Skylines and the city of Doverton. So for you, those eagle-eyed amongst you, you might have noticed that a lot of this is new up here and wasn't done in the previous episode. That is because I have done a few things in between the finishing the last one and starting this one. One of them was just finishing off Tomato North. I thought coming up here, it didn't make much sense watching me do it again because it's got the same sort of grid pattern, which you might be able to see if we sort of come down here by store. Scan as we come down. Oh, I just want to get to just tailing it as it comes down. So I'll show you, I'll give you a guided tour around it in a moment, but I think it's looking quite nice in here. We sort of filled it out. And then the plan was, after doing all of this, I'll show it to you and we'll move on and we'll do that new area that we promised. So I'm going to leave this truck here as he carries on his journey into, into Tomato North. It's all growing up here, it's quite nice. I do like it, so we leave him behind. We can see our population is increasing largely, just past 161,000. So yeah, this was the area that I built. A couple of like basketball courts and stuff. And it's just basically this end zone up here, which has the same sort of strips going on. And then this is like Tomato Park, which is what we put in in the last episode. All good through there. So then I was like, I'm going to build a new zone in the following episode. Unfortunately, I started building it, it was recording. I had about mm, an hour and a half of recorded footage. And um, the recorder crashed and didn't save the, um, the recording, which was a bit annoying. When I saved the game, because I think I'm trying to be more responsible. So this is the area here that I started building. I named it Sawyer's. Um, Soy Squares after a pub that I tried to get to recently near Paddington Station. It was closed, the internet was open. Um, I don't know why, but I named the district, district after it anyway. The interesting thing is, that's not the only Sawyers that I know. There's a couple of others. There's one in Exeter and stuff. But I don't know why sort of the Sawyers has become a name for a pub. Like some of them, like the Royal Oak and stuff, they've all got sort of history behind them. Maybe I'll, um, go do some research and in the next episode or maybe if this crashes and it loses all again and I do the research you will find out later. Anyway, the, so this is the area I started doing and I used this cathedral as our main sort of hub focus point and put a park around it although the park needs to be renamed. We've got a big cathedral there, we've got the Sawyers, we'll call it Saint, Saint Sawyers Green it goes around there so it must be why you've got the area called that. We've got a nice sort of avenue coming down here and the cathedral. That I think it looks all very cool. The area is slowly filling up. We haven't got much demand for housing at the moment. We're putting in lots of low-rise stuff and it's all like environmentally friendly stuff. So if I click on the Sawyer Square up here it'll tell me I think it's local produce and it's um, self-sufficient buildings. So that's good. I then got a train station in over here with a train running through to our main tomato hub. Uh, there are people using it, doesn't say so there, probably because there's only one train on there. And I believe I've also got a, no I haven't got a bus line, I think that was um, stuff that I put in post last time and then um, it crashed after the same. So if I have a look in here, oh there is a bus line, there is one bus line, nice. It must have just been just before it crashed, so they are still sort of spreading it out. So we've got buses here, which are doing soils to oil area. They're not being used too much yet. There's a few people waiting in some of them, but it's just coming up and looping around over here so people can go work in the oil fields for us. So that's all good. Now what I was planning on doing is getting in some of these monuments. Now for those of you who have watched my um, City Skylines challenge videos. I've got two at the moment, I need to do more more challenges because I do enjoy them. But the second one that I did, which is the City Skylines freeze challenge, or the pause challenge, I'm not quite sure what it's called, it's one or the other. But it's basically where you load a map, you have one square, you have unlimited money, unlock everything, you pause the game and you build your entire city while it's paused. You then unpause and see how many people can move in and whether or not you've made a successful city. So you could have problems say like if you don't put enough water supply in or if you forget to connect somewhere up to the pipes or the power doesn't jump across to an area 
and you get all these kind of issues or you might not have enough waste collection or enough anything along those lines or you might have an issue with the rows but anyway from that I thought oh, I, I realized that you have to put more than one thing in to get them so I thought oh, okay I want to have say the um, this one here I want, I want you to put in the ultimate um, recycling center I thought, okay construct burden B haven done must get the recycling center it's not how it works if we come in here and click on monuments we can now see that we need six different unique buildings to unlock the monument so if I come down here and have a look at the say the recycling plant there it is ultimate recycling plant this is the one I want because it will help with my waste problem in the city so the ultimate recycling plant is the monument that can manage huge amounts of garbage and process it to electricity goods and raw materials these products benefit your city or can be exported so help help deal with my ability to build up of, of waste and make some materials and electricity all good things. Unfortunately, I put none of, none of the buildings that need to unlock it. I need to put in a a Burden Bee Haven, a climate research station, it's a, um, green lungs of city, central park, cigarette gardens, and a floating garden. So I started building this area, thinking I don't know what I was thinking, but I, because of the recycle, but I wanted it in between here. But because it's between all of these areas, so in between the ore, the oil, and this centre over here. I thought like keeping this as a nature reserve, particularly also with like the big area down here. Like it's not going to, wildlife isn't going to love this area. So I th thought we'd do something else in this area, put a few different things in. So if we look at the other monuments, I was also like, I want to have an Eden project put in. Because the Eden project is a huge glass house, perfect for vast gardens full of exotic fruits and plants. It greatly increases the city profile and reduces pollution from land, air and water, making land in the air much more valuable. So I have areas, say, up here, with lots of pollution. So adding in an Eden project would help all of that out. Hence, I put in the Cathedral of Plentitude. All I need to do now to get this, I've got the other ones in already, like we've got the neighbourhood gardens and the statue of industry and stuff. So we need to put in a business park and a service office, and then I should get this. So we're working towards it. There's a few of these that I want. I also want to get get in the space elevator and stuff. So lots and lots of oh, and North Chapel because that will increase my um, um, number of, number of um, tourists coming in and stuff, which would be good. So that's what I'm aiming for, and that's what we're going towards. So what I'm going to do now is save this bit of recording so I don't have to do it again. Save the game, and, um, and then I'll carry on with recording this episode for you guys. And we might start on a new on a new area again, seeing as I did start one area but we missed it, so I'll start on another area which I can put those parks and stuff in and then we can start working towards having our recycling centre and come back over here and finish up over here. So that's that's the plan. And um Yeah. All is good. Okay, so as I was saying, yeah, we got this area done before the crash. So um we'll have to move on and start our next area. But what I have just done is scouting over here because so I've seen that this roundabout is getting quite busy um, I think a lot of this well I'll say a bit of this is down to the fact that we have pedestrians crossing over so I'm going to put a few bridges in and I'm going to get rid of all pedestrian crossings Okay, so that's got bridges and stuff sorted. That's hopefully that will allow traffic to start moving through here a bit quicker. We probably need to put like a fly, yeah, flyover or something in because an awful lot of traffic's heading down this way, or something to try and make it run a bit smoother. 
but we'll leave that for now <laughs> and we'll move on out over here to this section here which we did, did quite a while ago now and over here is going to be expanded I'm going to do a bit more offices in here and then we're going to have a secondary sort of big area in down over here which I think will start looking pretty cool okay so we'll get that started now so in this section here I'm going to start off with just carrying on this office zone down over here and then over here will be a big sort of touristy area we might put a gap in so it's more over here and we'll have lots of parks and stuff it will be a bit out of town and look pretty nice so as we build up the um this business area here with lots of offices I'm going to add a ferry stop in so we can start bringing people around the end of like, the point next to us with the um, with our theme park on it and stuff. So that will look quite cool. We can start transporting people around with that. And now I'm just going to try and just grid up some nice easy offices, sort of lining it up with the rest of that breakwater. And then with that big central road, we bring it in underneath that the um, train line. Take a little bit, we've got to jiggle it, jiggle it around, like lower the levels down to get enough clearance so people aren't bumping their heads when they're walking underneath. And now, because it's quite hilly here, and we're sort of cutting into it quite a lot. So we need to smooth out roads and then just do some smoothie, smoothie, smoothifying. Or, or just make a big hole in the sea, which would take some fixing up. See how that sort of manages after this weird water physics has done its thing. I think we are getting back back to it Okay, so that's got a bit more business area in. Unique buildings. Where is... Is it this one? No, that's a city arch. We need a business centre, or it is, or a business district. Which I believe is this one. Business park. Hmm. So the nice thing about this unique building is it's eight squares wide, so it fits in perfectly over here. So to quickly box it in, make a bit of a square about, a square roundabout, or one direction, and then we can carry on. So there we go. That road is looking pretty gash. Ah, uh, no wonder it's got a... A node in the middle. There we go. And I'm going to put this as a one way loop around the business arch. So that's going to be a bump. So it come, becomes a bit of a square about. There we go. So that's got one more. And this is going to have to get lowered down a bit, I think. It looks like it's bulging up in the centre, so if we can page down. No, that's gone too far. There we go, oh, is that better? Yeah, and that's good enough. It's not what I, it's not ideal, but it's good enough. I'm just going to pop a bit of footpath down at each end. All filled in. And I think we have a bus line coming through over here. This bus line will have a bit of a bit of rearranging coming on. 
So we'll just bring that bus line down in here so we can serve the port and stuff so people can come for the port and come round. Just have to make sure we get that square about actually running with all the roads pointing in the right direction. So we'll just carry on the area a bit further up this side. And then we'll just add in some nice sort of buildings to increase the desirability of the area. So sort of plazas and parks and a bit of commercial and water pipes all Okay, there we go. <clears throat> bit more uh, bit more offices popped in and that should get loads more stuff building. And we have to try and find a spot in a moment to try and put in the services offices. And then we can um, carry on with our little village. So we're going to be popping in shortly. What I will do actually is I might pop the services office in up over here. I think that would be Oh uh, where was it? It's in here somewhere. Oh there he is. him in pop him in there for now and that's got that first one's the first thing unlocked for us okay so as that's building we'll get started on the next level so now that this area over here is slowly filling in we can start popping in this new area so I'm going to move way out actually over here, maybe around here we're going to start popping it in. So if we zoom in and have a look where we want to go. Ooh, we've got another, another ruin coming on over here, like a ruin of a church or something. Maybe we'll put that into the park. And then over here we have a bit of a harbour. Maybe we'll put a secondary um, little harbour in over here. So I will use... Uh, where the tolls gone? This is the one. Oh, it's very slopey by this by the look of it here. Yeah. So if you pop that there. And we will just start coming around with this way. Boom. No, we don't want that. Come out of that. There we go. Delete the toll. So this area here. I'll pop a central park on here. I think there we go. Central Park. And Central Park is humongous. Look at the size of that, so pop that in there. And this will end up being sort of like a central feature. Is that where I want it to be? I might move it a bit further down over this way actually. So what I did neglect when I first came to this area was to check up the topography of the area. And it's quite hilly as you can see by how much that just sets itself back into the hill. So we do lots of use this slopey slopey tool to make it nice and smooth around here. So you can try and get that all straightened up nice and square and all not too chunky on the terrain. Come on, I want to be in the middle of that square there. Nope, nope, nope. Like it's, it was popping into it. We're popping into it briefly, and then it's instantly ju jump. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Come on. All the way up to there, I think. And then what I'm going to do is pop a roundabout in. Right on the end of this one. Boom. Is 
So this row over here, I'll bring it round and connect on. One little junction connecting all that up. And I'll do another one sort of coming up over this way in a bit. Just going to pop in a fairy terminal over here, I think. So I'm just going to connect up a few sort of blocks around over here. Something that we can start getting this district or little garden village that we're putting in over here growing while we're gone. Just trying to get it all comes out into nice neat sort of grids and stuff. I'm not wasting space and it looks all nice and it fits in with my OCD. So I'm just going to carry on putting in more gridded and space for more growth and zoning some more stuff up over the other side of the central park too. There we go. Just something nice and simple. Something that can allow us all to get in nice and growing quickly. And then we'll just bring the water over from over here underneath the roads where they belong. We'll just get a quick bit of zoning in and then some education in over here. I've got the elementary school and then the um, high school in there, the hospital in, and then we'll just put in like some other services like fire, police, put a uh, botanical garden because that fits perfectly in that gap there, so why wouldn't you? Get the electricity over and some janky wires that they all connect together, up and down, and then let's start zoning up, not zoning, um, disking. Okay, so we've got our zone in there, and I'll just name it after the pub I've just been to. Baltic. Baltic. Baltic Fleet Beach. I think it's time that we start getting some boats in. So that should have that fleet, that fleet, that line all linked up. Just need to try and get this to all. So what, what do I need to get? This next one. I could try and put a ziggurat garden in. Or what do we need for a space elevator? I need to get, oh, just, just a stadium. This isn't the stadium area. Ferry line one. What did I name this port over here? I think it was the keys or something. Why did I not rename it? Ah. I thought I'd given us a name, this key, our big port. Oh well. Oh, look at all these ships running in over here. I think there's lots more passengers coming in, so that's 800, 
15, 16, lots and lots of people. Line details. What do you want? Harbour to to Baltic. What fairies do we have? Not just the one. I thought I had a mod to give myself more different fairy types. Well, because get yeah, there's one way to get to much bigger fairies. Oh, well, we'll leave it at that for now. Okay, it is slowly filling in over here. So I'll pop in a bit more offices over here, I think. So same as always, it's just getting the roads in. So we can set up like a nice big square zoning area. I'll put a secondary big road in. You all remember the water. Citizens do like to drink. And then just some services. So... Now we're looking to see whether the like, ziggurat guards or anything would fit in there if it's fancy. No, we'll give up on that. We'll just go for like a clinic and a sauna and then some gardens and stuff. Just popping some beach volleyball down over here. On the beach. Uh, we probably don't need a. It was it called again? A. Um, a skate park. I don't imagine office goers are the typical skateboarding type. So we'll leave it like that. And I'll put some offices in here. And here. We'll move this round a bit. So you're going to go up over there. And we'll pop in another one there. Is that how I wanted to put it? Actually, we'll pop him there. And then one over here. There we go. Happy days. So I'm going to connect this road to this road up over here. Okay, so that's got that connected. I won't put another motorway junction up there because it'll be too much, with too many junctions nearby to the other one. But I will do like a little industrial estate in over here. Just like some standard zoned industry, like the yellow area zones. I don't know that fits in like And over here, I'm hoping I might be able to get a couple of um, those guys, which are seven wide, which I just realised there. And then I forgot just how big, just how giant this waste transfer facility is. So we pop him in there, and I was hoping I could get one in there, but he's just overlapping that motorway a little bit. So we go for the recycling centre instead. And then the obvious water wheel fence off down there. Zone is up, yeah, there we go, lots of yellow ones. Bit more officers in here so we can get the lecky to jump over nice and easily. And there we go. To pop a plaza in, bit of commercial, people can buy the sandwiches. And this just won't fit anywhere in here, unfortunately. How is the Baltic fleet line going? Well, there's nine, nine travellers on there. Loads of people waiting over here now. Which is good. Hopefully we'll start getting more people using it. And I'll see if I can find the um, larger fairies again. Because these ones are just a bit small, carrying 50. Happy days. So hopefully, this will all start now growing up and the electricity will jump over there in a second. I'm just going to see if I can bring this train line out. Bring it round towards the Baltic. So the train line will just run parallel to this road for a little bit. What I'll do now is just bring this road out up here and sort of start zoning a bit more further up here. 
because I want the station to be up at the end of where that road was between and between the roundabout. So if we build it up with a bit more sort of zoning and stuff, that will make that area bigger, get more people in and sort of fill us up filling in everything and looking good. So just put a second little loop up here. There's like a little lay-by for the bus stops to go in. There'll be a few bus stops up here. Not as many as the other ones we've done because it's not going to be as big a um, hub as some of the other ones. Like over over at Drew or um, ooh, Keepers I think was the first one. So I'll just pull the line over and we can get that sorted. There we go. And there we go. Happy days. And I'm going to run a bus line from here. It's just going to run a simple circuit. There we go, that's the first loop. And the colour of it black, put the bendy bus on there as usual. And it's just Baltic Fleet anti clockwise. And then you'll do the clockwise version of the, that route. Bosh, there we go. Bendy bus black and renamed. Happy days. And then we'll just put a bit more zoning in over here. Just get a bit more space coming up, that's looking good. I don't want to have it too standardised grid, I have to try and jiggle it up again. Just double checking what we need for everything. I don't think it's going to fit in here. Nope, it's far too big, far too big. Far too big. We'll go to that one. So we'll just go for that, like, that the um, simple dog park. That sort of fits in quite nicely there. What fits in there? Oh, we'll put a community pool in, that's the perfect sort of eight squares wide. There we go, and it's going up nicely. Oh, here's the buses for Baltic Fleet coming. I wonder how these trains are doing passenger-wise. I bet there's about five people on here. Oh, that's pretty close actually with eight. Pretty close indeed. So we've only got three trains on here. And there's not too many people waiting anywhere. So that's all good. I might put another little industrial estate in over here. Hopefully now we'll get a bit more industrial stuff coming in over here. And this whole area of Baltic Fleet is growing nicely. I know what we've been needing to do for a while. And that's put in some water treatment plants. Because we've got a lot of water treatment requirements. Well, I say we will, we will do soon. And put in a row of these. Do the small ones, they will fit in down this road here. Can I get a third one in? I think that works. And we can bump to there, to there, to there. Come up here. smoothed out. So hopefully this will start filling in and we can start having lots of good times. So it's been a little while. I made the mistake of changing the Baltic fleet to have um, some new themes in down here. So I popped on the self-sufficient buildings and I popped on the um, organic local produce. Because this is going to be like my garden area, I thought I should probably make it more eco-friendly. It sort of seems to fit. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to extend this area out this way a little bit. So I'll quickly go... Oh, nope, not like that. Okay, we do that, and then go try again. Go... Look at that, yeah, fill it all in. Boom, boom, boom go up to the train line with it. And then in here it will be a bit more residential. Like the ziggurat gardens, the floating gardens, 
And as we have unlocked it now, we can pop in monuments and Eden projects. So that will come up over here too somewhere. And then I'm also going to pop in a couple of little park areas. First one being in this area here around where these ruins are. Put a little city park in here. So that will be quite nice. Have a nice little sort of city park in ruins going on. That'll make someone to look at. And then down over here on the waterfront, I put in a little skate park and a bank of um, beach volleyball courts along the beach. I'm going to put another park district in down over here too on the beach and this will be an area set aside the nature reserve park so people can come out and just sit on the beach and relax is what I'm thinking there we go lovely and because it's going to be quite a touristy area the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull out a little road this way put those snapping back snaps back on and I'm going to put in the not that one that one the horse ride area that's going to come in there and we will just run the road around it I'll get rid of some of the trees we don't want trees on the beach Nice. So we now have multiple things set up that we can start filling in. So first thing, I'm going to try and carry on with this road network and get them so they get it so it's all sort of um, zoning up nicely or available to zone up nicely. So we'll go across here and then we'll put in another lay-by for more bus stops outside the um, train station. And some more zoning for some housing around parts. Oh, look at that. Didn't measure it out, but that worked out perfectly for gappage over there. One there. One there. One there. And one over there. So we're just setting up this park area at the moment. We're setting it up as a um, city park. I think it's going to look quite nice sort of around here, around the ruins of the church. It'll give us every, some, some people to go come have a look at. So we're going to lay, lay out a nice bit of footpath networking going through it and stuff. We're going to keep it fairly simple, try and not overdo it too much. Just sort of fence it in. There we go. And then a quick network of paths so people can crisscross through. Oh yeah, of course, some water. So seeing as we've now got this nice ruin in the centre here, I suppose what we need some of in here is park information offices. We'll pop one in over this side and one over here. So people can come in and they can get some information about the old ruins in here. To me it looks like it's a bit of an old church, which I think, so we can... Um, find out about it and stuff, get a bit of the history. Got the toilets over here and then I'll put a nice little cafe in there. Anyway, I can carry on detailing this park a bit more. So a few benches next to the cafe so you can have a nice picnic. I'm going to change these so there's not so many trees in here. You have some bushes going around the footpath and then these nice rhododendron ones lined up as like a hedge to go around the edge. All these little, uh, I keep forgetting what the trees are called. The little stubby ones from the middle growth of the new lot. And then we just pop in a couple of bandstands around. Place for people to have a sit and cover and um, relax if it's raining and stuff. And then there's a nice, oh, look at that shadow of the building growing there. I hadn't noticed that when I was playing the game, but that looked pretty cool. There we go. I'm happy with how that looks. What's this level like in here now? Okay, we've got quite a lot of attractiveness in there. 
sweet. We'll leave this one down here for a bit later. But what do I want? I want to get a Eden project. And it's going to come in. It's a shame to have lost that, those rocks there. But then I suppose I'm not a save the rock kind of person. But yeah, the Eden project will pop it in over here. I think on that nice little road yeah, there on the front. This Good views. Well, this monument. Quite a strange looking building. And I'm not getting very good views of it for you. That's more like it. So it's a strange looking building. All these banks of plant. But that's quite cool. I don't know what the big fan of the centre's doing. Oh well. That's not important, is it? So that's that. Go to get some water to it. Got all those plants to look after. There we go. And I suppose we get some more some of those big rocks back in. We had a few in this area here. Oh, well, there we go. I got rid of that rock. We've got a few more back in. Oh man, that bit of road needs fixing. There we go. Oh, yeah, right. it's, it's all looking good. I hadn't, don't know what's quite happening there, but that's a bit better now. I'm going to readjust these bus lines so it comes up close to the Eden project. So an Eden project or the other one? Oh, it's Ziggurat. Gardens and the floating gardens. Which are, I think, in this one. There he is. And where's the floating gardens? I thought they were in here. Nope. Maybe it's this one. Nope. Nope. Oh, floating garden. Okay. Of organic and local produce. Let's need a bit more of that. So as we need a bit more of the organic and local produce, I'll just pop that in around the Eden project here. So when that grows up, we can have like some health food restaurants or whatever they are, or cafes and shops around the Eden project. Have quite a nice environmentally friendly zone. I think that will sort of fit in. And hopefully that space I'll just put in around there, that will get enough to get those 5,000 units or 5,000 squares of it. And yeah, you get the whole copy and paste trick again. I put a second ziggurat gardens in over here. I think they look quite cool, particularly with the botanical gardens there. Okay, so we've got a bit of a got the ziggurat gardens in, and we've got some more residential and commercial coming in. And hopefully, we should soon be at the point where we can get this floating garden. Where was it again? Oh, there he is. So that should hopefully, when that all builds up, that should hopefully get our, us that area sorted. Nice, how's this park doing? It's not getting very many visitors, but that's alright. Oh wow, look at that, our population is racing up. Nearly at 175,000. We're making some good money at the moment. I wonder where that's all coming from. Let's have a look in here. Oh, that's making lots of money. Yep, that's one place. It's making less than usual, actually. Is it? It's making more than... I don't know. It's making a lot of money, whatever's happening. That's losing the usual amount of money. Making the usual amount of money. And being insignificant. Okay. So again, I've let it run for a bit of time. And we've got a lot more of this um, commercial stuff that's filled in so we can now in here pick up the floating the floating gardens 
So you can try and just pop them in over here. So we have a nice little bridge coming around this little beachy area, connecting it in over here. And then in the camera, just move it around so it's sort of holding the edge. It'd be quite nice having it in front of our Eden project, but I don't think it will fit. So we've put a few gardens in, so all parks. They're not really gardens, they're the, um, what's it called again? Beach volleyball courts on the beach! And now we're putting in another district here, because what I'm thinking is, we've got all our lovely little monuments and beaches and stuff. So we have a nice little tourist section. Just move that electricity up over there, so it's not getting in the way. Footpath through here, carrying that on through there. And then, yes, there we go, all that. So we can pop in the tourist section, there we go. So we've got lots of hotels so people can come, stay, and have fun um, in the parks and gardens and stuff. It's quite a nice sort of little area for them with all these monuments and stuff being built for them to come visit. And with the beach set up, particularly once we get that second, um, the second, well, that nature reserve along the beach sort of set up, that'd be looking good. And we'll just jiggle the bus line around to get to cover those new areas. Okay, looking good. Okay, so this is where I'm going to leave it for this episode. It's already a very long episode. But we have our floating gardens in, we have our ziggurat garden, and we've got a nice monument. We've got our first monument in, we've got a few people visiting here. We have this whole brand new area, another train station, and by the look of it, a whole heap of people running around outside the train station. Look at them all go. But yeah, that's where I'm going to leave it. So I'll see you again in the next episode, when we're going to continue trying to unlock more of these monuments. So I'll see you again next time. Ciao!